you'll find forks and joins in both state diagrams and in activity diagrams. In activity diagrams, forks and joins are called nodes. In state diagrams, forks and joins are considered pseudostates. And that's because they're not an actual state of the object. Rather, there's something that has to happen during a transition for the object to move from one state to the next. Forks and joins are represented by a black bar, and these can be either vertical as they are here or horizontal, with one transition coming in and one or more going out if you're dealing with a fork. If you're dealing with a join, you have two or more transitions coming in and one transition going out. And as in activity diagrams, in a join, both of these states have to be present before you can move on to the next state. This is the same orthogonal composite state that we were looking at in a different movie. For a burglar alarm system, the intrusion detected state, these two states happen concurrently. Siren is on and the system sends notification that an intrusion has been detected. So these two things, these two states happen concurrently as part of the intrusion detected state. So we've added a fork and a join here to show that. This gives a stronger sense of concurrency. We've got our initial pseudostate. We have uh, these two substates of the intrusion detected composite state and the fork here shows us that these are indeed happening at the same time. Siren on after 10 minutes and if the alarm is still on, the system turns off the alarm. We go to the siren off state. When both the siren off state and the sending notification state have happened, then the system can reset. It can't reset if notification has been sent and the siren is still on. We, all, we have to have the siren off state before the reset and then the system goes to the monitoring state which in the simple diagram would be the final state. So you see how our fork and join pseudostate adds some extra information. First, that these are happening at the same time, and then that they both must reach this pseudostate before, we, before the system can reset and we move on to the next state. So again, pseudostates are not actual states of the machine, but what they do is, in a sense, fragment the transitions between the actual states.